For this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can make your recently created DXF file for your um, crane into the drawing that you need for the laser cutter. So when you open up um, Corel Draw, the first thing you need to do is make a new template. The laser cutter operates on a bed size which is 600 wide and 450 millimeters high. If you type those in and click OK, this will open up a new sheet of paper. The sheet of paper is 600 by 450. The next thing to do is to add in your imported DXF file. Go and find it. It should be on your document somewhere. And you'll see it will be a DXF file. Comes up with some options. Make sure you're on metric and the scale is one to one. That will keep it the same as the real life drawing. Now, Corel has similar functions as uh, Inventor, whereby the middle mouse button will let you zoom in and out and you can hold the middle mouse button to, to pan across. This is the drawing that I've created from Inventor and you can see my views are in here of my task or of my drawing. The drawing border and tile and dimensions, I can get rid of these. This is done by simply clicking and deleting the unnecessary areas. Again, it's sometimes easy to use zoom to create an easier box. You can hold down shift and delete more than one thing at a time. I'm also going to delete the weight which is unnecessary and these dimension lines. Now this is um, starting to get the parts that I wish to see. For example there's the pulley and the side and the gear and the, the ratchet and pawl mechanism that I have for my design. I need to now break these up into individual parts. The easiest way to do that is to copy and paste this view at least once. Uh, so I have an original view and a copied view and the copied view I can now break down and delete individual items. So I want to go and uh, break or ungroup all and this allows me to, to break up the majority of this view. and gets me down to individually. So there's a pulley, I want to group that, so that is one, one part. With the pole, I have to be careful that I do not pick up the, the gear. You can see there in the blue that I've picked up the gear as well. So I don't want to do that. I need to be careful and you can see the white parts I've selected. Sorry, shift. I can select individually just the parts I want. Drag them to the side. So I'm left with the gear. One of the outside pulleys, one of those, and my ratchet and my gear. So I've got my pulley at the top. Which I'll need another one. So this Part, these three parts here make one pulley, these parts here make another pulley, and there's my ratchet and gear. I can now use this side view, copy and paste that again, and this time get rid of the gears, but leave the inside circles, these circles here and here, 
for the parts to line up. I also need to be careful to get rid of half of these and also the bottom base piece here. With lines that I have created a gap in now, I can drag these out and join them onto the other part. And likewise these small bits, just zoom out. So I end up just about finished with the, the side. Obviously I need two sides and you can see how it's starting to build up. The next part I'd need to get would be my base. So that's my base there. Copy that out. Or just drag this one out. I get no other useful information from this piece. These uh, are just horizontal lines for the bar, for the supporting beams. Um, so there's my base. Put that there. And there's a side, which isn't complete, but I'd need to complete that. So I'll have one side there. And then put in one pulley. And the other pulleys and gear as well to finish up the drawing. So that's all the parts I need for my cutting list. I can now save that and send that as an email to your teacher.